travel a short distance to face Charlton, but an away game is still an away game, and the Blues haven't won one yet. Jody Morris made a rare start and came close early on, as did Gianfranco Zola after good interplay with Gus Poyet. No one has scored more Premiership goals than Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank this season, but although his connection was true, he just failed to add to his total of 10 so far. In the summer, Alan Kerbishley brought Finnish international Jonathan Johansson from Glasgow Rangers to get goals. And his sixth in the Premiership, and ninth overall since moving south, put Charlton ahead and ended 199 barren minutes of play for his side. Chelsea boss Claudio Ranieri replaced Dalla Bona and Poyet with Gudjonsson and Flo in an attempt to pep up his attack. But with seconds left to play, it was the home side that found the net. Martin Pringle's first goal since March helped move the Addicts up to seventh and left Chelsea with a total of just three points from a possible 21 on their travels. No, eh, diciamo che quando una squadra perde l'allenatore non è mai contento. When, uh, when his team loses, the manager is never, never happy. Ma anche i ragazzi sono delusi perché volevano vincere. But the um, players are disappointed as well because they wanted to win. I thought Chelsea worked ever so hard. I thought they closed us down, I thought they got bodies around the ball and they looked very, very sharp indeed. And I think we had, we had uh, a lot to do to keep, keep with them. Um, but we did. And, um, got the goal and had another great chance and perhaps might have had a sending off or a penalty. So I think that, you know, if you look at the game overall, uh, I've said to the players it's a local derby and we've got to make sure that we attack it like a local derby. But I think we played well enough to have got all three points. I think we, we had as many chances as Chelsea and uh, deserved.